President Trump angrily unloaded on his top law enforcement officials on Monday night, complaining that the FBI broke into the office of Michael D. Cohen, his personal lawyer, and assailing two early morning raids as a disgraceful situation and an attack on our country in a true sense. The president repeatedly said that the raids were part of a witch hunt against him that has been conducted since he took office, and he mused about the possibility that he might soon fire Robert S. Mueller III, the special counsel in the Russia inquiry. We'll see what may happen, Mr. Trump said as he began a meeting with senior military officials to discuss responses to a chemical attack in Syria. Many people have said, you should fire him. The president railed against Jeff Sessions, the attorney general, for recusing himself in the Russia investigation, and he blasted the FBI for failing to investigate Hillary Clinton, where there are crimes. He also lashed out at Rod J. Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general, who is overseeing the Russia investigation. Mr. Trump delivered the emotional tirade hours after federal officials raided Mr. Cohen's office and hotel room, seizing business records emails and documents, including information related to a payment that Mr. Cohen made to a pornographic film actress. The raids were in part the result of a referral to federal officials by Mr. Mueller. Mr. Trump called Mr. Mueller's team the most biased group of people and said that it contained mostly Democrats and some Republicans who worked for President Barack Obama. That is really now in a whole new level of unfairness. Mr. Trump said of the raids involving Mr. Cohen. Officials said the White House learned about the raids from Mr. Cohen's lawyer after they were carried out but before they became public knowledge. Mr. Trump has long complained that the Russia inquiry was a politically motivated attempt to undermine the legitimacy of his election victory and he has been highly critical of Mr. Sessions and the FBI for failing to adequately investigate Mrs. Clinton's use of a private email server. But the aggressive move by federal officials against Mr. Cohen, the president's longtime personal lawyer, appeared to strike a particularly sensitive nerve. Mr. Cohen, who works for Mr. Trump's private company, has long been considered one of the president's closest business confidants. Mr. Trump reacted to the raids without any prompting from reporters, who had been brought into the cabinet room where the president was meeting with Jim Mattis, the Secretary of Defense, John Bolton, the new National Security Advisor, and other military officials to discuss the situation in Syria. As the cameras began rolling, Mr. Trump immediately condemned the actions against Mr. Cohen. So, I just heard that they broke into the office of one of my personal attorneys, a good man, and it's a disgraceful situation, he said. It's a total witch hunt. I've been saying it for a long time. I've wanted to keep it down. It was unclear what Mr. Trump meant by saying he wanted to keep it down. He went on to criticize Mr. Mueller's team for examining the president's associates. They only keep looking at us so they find no collusion, and then they go from there and they say, well, let's keep going, and they raid an office of a personal attorney early in the morning, and I think it's a disgrace. Mr. Trump said the president also defended his decision to fire James B. Cummey as FBI director, saying that I turned out to do the right thing because you look at all of the things that he's done and the lies and you look at what's gone on at the FBI. He criticized Mr. Rosenstein for having signed a FISA warrant, apparently a reference to the role Mr. Rosenstein played in authorizing wiretaps of Trump associates in the Russia inquiry. Republicans have been highly critical of the warrants saying the FBI persuaded judges to authorize them on false pretenses. The president's suggestion that he might fire Mr. Mueller drew swift condemnations from Capitol Hill, where Democrats and Republicans alike have warned that doing so would cross a dangerous political and legal line. If the president is thinking of using this raid to fire special counsel Mueller or otherwise interfere with a chain of command in the Russia probe, we Democrats have one simple message for him, don't, said Senator Chuck Schumer of New York. The Democratic leader, special counsel Mueller, a Republican, has uncovered a deep and detailed pattern of Russian interference in our elections that has led to indictments and guilty pleas, Mr. Schumer added. It has also led to the Trump administration itself leveling sanctions against Russian individuals for meddling in our elections, proof that it's not a so-called witch hunt. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, 
please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com once again that is www.atthismall.com